Welcome to another edition of 68 Shining Moments presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. Today, we talked to two of the stars from that Middle Tennessee State team that knocked off Michigan State in the NCAA tournament, Coach Kermit Davis and Giddy Potts. All right, now pleased to welcome in two of the stars from the Middle Tennessee State team in 2016 that pulled that huge upset over Michigan State, Kermit Davis. Uh, the coach then, now the coach at Old Miss, uh, Giddy Potts, the sophomore then, uh, now right. professional player. And uh, listen, guys, let, let me start out with this. Go back, Kermit, because I know you didn't win the league that year. You didn't win the regular season. So you needed to win that conference tournament in order to get into the NCAA tournament. Go through with me kind of the pressure that was on you guys to, to win the conference tournament to get that automatic bid. Yeah, I, I tell you one thing, Jeff, it was, you know, we'd won some games. We finished second in the league to UAB. Uh, they had a great team that year. And so we're going to the conference tournament. We'd won about three in a row. And Ed Simpson, who's one of Giddy's very best friends, right. who's a really good player in our team, he had one of the most horrific. He fractured, broke his ankle to where they put a towel over his ankle. The day before now, we're practicing in Sanford at Birmingham. We sat on the floor for 40 minutes, Giddy can tell you, waited for the ambulance to come and get him. And so now we're sitting here just going back to the hotel and wondering, okay, on this bus ride, how am I, how are we going to get our team back right? Remember that Giddy, Ed showed up yeah. in our film room. He said, guys, I'm good. And our team just took off, Jeff, and we won, you know, three games. We beat a really good old Dominion team in, in, the, in the finals by two. Reggie yeah. Upshaw made a couple of free throws, and uh, Giddy had a great, great tournament. And uh, yeah, well, so, but it was, it was a lot of pressure to try to win that tournament. Sure. So Giddy, yeah. you, you, you're sitting there on selection Sunday and you know, you're going to face a pretty good team. Like, you know, you're yeah, drawing sure. somebody good that you're probably a 15 seed, maybe a 14 at best. Mm -hmm. What did you think when you drew Michigan state? Because they were hot. They had won the big 10 tournament. Mm -hmm. They came in, honestly, a lot of people were picking them to win the whole thing. what did you think when you saw the Spartans? Uh, I, I just thought, uh, I know we had, we had a pretty good team ourselves. Uh, I just, I thought that was one of the best matches we could have had in the tournament because, uh, our bigs is like Reggie and Darnell. We, we, we were all locked in, ready to, ready to play those guys. If you would have seen the looks on our face, um, when they said Michigan State, we, like, you could tell that we were ready, um. And we just uh, – we really wanted to go – after the selection Sunday, we wanted to go in there and practice right then and there just to show that we was ready. Um, but we had to take that day off. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I, all of our guys were ready, uh, even down to Chase Miller on the bench. Uh, we were ready to lock in the next day in practice, um, even on the travel day. We, we didn't have much to say, really. Uh, we were just ready to play and practice for real. So I think we was just, it was just that moment we was just – locked in and ready but it, it, it was for, for me it was the craziest thing because nobody in my family ever played every even played college basketball so just to be on that selection Sunday it was it was just one of the best feelings I ever had well you you had that as a young sophomore Kermit <laughs> knew Tom Izzo's reputation in the NCAA sure. tournament and I'm sure Kermit when you saw Michigan State you're probably like oh no <laughs> well you know what Jeff, because uh, I'd watched their Big Ten game, and they were right. Yeah, Denzel sure. Valentine was a player of the year. And, and, and Giddy can tell you, after Ed's injury, you know, we didn't do one physical thing for a week. We Everything we sure. did, Jeff, was 5-0. Yeah. Oh. Now, we cut hard and did all that, but we didn't do one physical thing. I said, I just want everybody to be healthy. We Remember, we'd had a couple right. other injuries. Right. And so we went in there fresh. The one thing I did think, Jeff, is that, like Red, uh, Giddy said, uh, Giddy led the country in three-point field goal percentage shooting, but Tom's team was a good defensive team, but they're bigs. They're going to guard ball screens, real conventional. And Darnell and Reggie both could pick and pop, so the floor was spread. And, and we just, like I said, our preparation was good. And, our, and, and, the, and the big key was it, Jeff, we got off to like a 15-2 to two start, so we got immediate confidence early in that game. Yeah, Giddy, what, what's it like? I mean, you, you come out of the gates, and you're not thinking you're going to be up 15-2 coming right out of the gates how, how good are you guys feeling almost too good that early uh, no? I wouldn't say too good uh it was just like 
you know, the, the moment, at that moment, it's just like you just got to calm down. You got to, it's, it's a long game, 15 to 2. That's a, that's the start of the first half. So, I mean, we just have to stay locked in, uh, which we did, uh, and just complete our game. It, it, it was, it was kind of weird because I don't know, current probably know. Um, in high school, we played like <clears throat> the number one team in our, in our state and they, they had, before we played them, they just had they just had beat a team by a hundred. So it's coming from that and to the Michigan State, I, I try to convert, not convert. Uh, I don't even know the word, but I try to simulate simulate those two things because um, the team that I played in high school, they were pretty good. They was somewhat like Michigan State team. Had a good, good point guard, good shooters, uh, and good bigs. It, it was just I, I had to. I don't know if Kermit know, but I told the team, I was like, all right, we got we got a good start right here. And this game, basketball is all about runs. So we just gotta stay locked in and, and keep our keep our composure and stick to the game plan. I mean, we did it, we came out with the win. I think I think that was probably it was probably one of the one of the best games that I've been in in my life for sure. <laughs> one of the best? What do you mean, one of the best? <laughs> what game could be better, Giddy? <laughs> I mean, that game, in high, that that game in high school was pretty pretty intense. I, I, All right, y'all don't y'all don't understand just because y'all didn't play it. it. It was just it was just it was just cause it was it was versus. I, I think I was the I was the number two player in the state, and and uh, Justin Coleman was the number one player in the state. It was it was just a big, I don't know if it's a rivalry, but it was just competitive nature out there on the court. There were a few more people watching on this one, weren't there? I, I understand that. I understand that. Biggest thing, what, what I took away from the game, Go Jeff, was how, was how good Michigan State played. I mean, that's what people, you, you kind of forget. Yeah, for sure. Was- I mean, Michigan State shot 60% in the second half. They shot 55 from the game. They 11 for 24 from three. I mean, they played good. They We, we couldn't guard for them, sure. and they couldn't guard us. I mean, they just – it really, it was right. an unbelievable college game because everybody ran great offense. And obviously, you know, it was mm-hmm. just high level. And Denzel Valentine had 12 assists. He had six turnovers. But but the Spartans played good. They, they, they really did when you go back and look at the yeah, game. They did, for sure. I didn't realize that until after I watched the game. Yeah, well, you guys tried everything on It, it, was, it was pretty competitive. Depends yeah, for sure. Didn't for you sure. try everything on Denzel? Yes, yes. We uh, – you know, we trapped him in our one three one. Uh, Giddy made a couple great. He had about five turnovers against our our one three one. You know, he had twelve assists, but he did. He was he could just see the floor so well. They were so, so fast well. after a make. And uh, but yeah, we 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 did. We we switched every ball screen. We switched a mm-hmm. lot of different things. So yeah, we we tried it all, Jeff. We'll get back to the show in a minute. But first, let me tell you about our partners over at DraftKings Sportsbook. With March Madness beating down our door. DraftKings is the best way for you to get a little action in on the game. If you've not downloaded the DraftKings Sportsbook app yet, what are you waiting for? It's the safest, it's the most secure, it's reliable, and it allows you to safely deposit and withdraw your money at your convenience. And this week, they're offering my listeners a pretty sweet deal. If you sign up now with the promo code FIELD68, you can turn $1 into $100, if one of the main event fighters in UFC 259 this weekend lands a single punch, that's it. One punch to turn a dollar into a hundred dollars. And don't worry if MMA isn't your thing. DraftKings Sportsbook offers odds and promos on basketball, hockey, or whatever sport you're watching. But since they're basically giving away a hundred bucks, you might as well sign up now, watch a little UFC and remember to use that promo code field 68. That's field 68. You must be 21 years or older. The offer is available for a limited time only. Eligibility restrictions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Had you told them, Kermit, um, the history of the 15 beating the two going into this game and kind of that it had been done before? Maybe not recently. It had been a few years. But had you kind of uh, educated them on on the history of the 15-2? You know, the, the biggest thing, if Giddy can remember, our mantra was this, is, guys, this is a shirts and skins game. And if we went to the park in Nashville and you guys just picked them up and you just went shirts and skins, nobody knew who was who. 
you would think you're going to win the game if you're on the pick. Sure. Nobody ever thinks you're going to lose a pickup game. And that, right. we just kind of hung our hat on that, Jeff. We just really did that. I knew we had competitive guys, and these guys like get it. They, I knew those, those guys weren't scared of the moment. You know, now whether we could actually win it or not, you know, I didn't tell those guys. But, uh, but like I said, they just they just never blinked. And the biggest compliments I got as a coach was after the game, our guys didn't celebrate. They felt great, but they kind of shook their hands, walked off the floor, yeah. and that was a good feeling. Like they knew they'd beaten a heck of a team, you know, and played really well. Yeah. Hey, hey Getty, what, what was it like when they cut it to one? I was oh. 77, 76 <laughs> late. What are you guys thinking then? We got to get a stop. <laughs> we got to uh, get a stop and score the ball. Uh, but I think – I can't remember. Uh, I think Darnell made a three. Darnell made a three to go, make us go up four. And I think I, it was just a sign of relief, like, ooh. You can you can put your shoulders down, relax a little bit, you know. But uh, I get I, I it's hard to even it's hard like, to remember all the plays. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's hard sure. to remember the plays. They they did for cut sure. it to one. Giddy made a great kind of a remember Giddy a little busted play about twelve foot oh, yeah. in the and lane. And a, yeah, pan through it for sure. Yeah, and then when we were up, uh, Jeff, the most iconic play in, in Middle Tennessee history was. Was we, we they had the ball on the side? Tom called timeout, and all five of our guys touched the ball. It was, the game was like five, and uh, Jaquan Raymond stole it, went to Giddy to pair and view for the Darnell Harris, and then he hit it Reggie Upshaw and he dunked it and got fouled, and it kind of sealed the game. And it was mm-hmm. typical of that team, Jeff, because all five guys on our team touched it, Reggie dunked it, and it kind of just sealed the game, sure. and just about just about that team and coming to the gym with them every day. Yeah, That was the beauty of your team, right? All five starters were in double figures that game. You had contributions from everybody all year long. I mean, that that was kind of the beauty, I think, of that team. Older, right? I mean, Giddy yep. was kind of the young buck in the team, but you had three <laughs> senior starters. And that's generally the way you pull an upset like this, right? No, yeah, no doubt. Sure. Yeah. No doubt. Reggie was a junior, parent senior. Darnell Harris Sr., Jaquan Raymond Sr., you know, and you, yeah. you can tell Giddy, he was a sophomore, but he looked like he had been in the league about seven years. You know, he's always getting older than <laughs> cats. So they didn't think he was a sophomore. But you're right. We, but I tell you, we did have Jeff talent. But, God, we had some good guys on our team. We had just Definitely. good people, and, and they did. They, it, was, it was a fun moment being in that locker room for sure. uh, afterwards, for sure. Giddy, you became like a, a star – uh, the name helped, right? The name yeah, certainly sure. helped. Uh, sure. You beat you beat a big boy like Michigan State. What mm-hmm. were those hours like in between, obviously, playing Syracuse? What, what was it like for you and how your life kind of quickly changed almost? Uh, I, I, for me, it was just like a, for me with basketball, I, I know like basketball, I knew basketball was going to be like a big stage in my life, you know? Uh, but I didn't know it was going to take me that far. So all I can do is just like smile, thank thank my mom, my thank Kermit for helping me. You know, because where I come from, a lot of people don't make it. You know that far. But I just all I can do is smile, like keep my head up high. <laughs> really, like it, 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 it's it's crazy because a lot of guys from my city is talented, but they just. There's a lot of things that brought him back home, uh, messed him up in life. But for me, Kermit helped me get out of the situation. Even from, like Kermit said, I was homesick. You know, I, I was ready to go back home. But he told me, stay here. You have And I think, because a while, I think after like two months, I, I never went home. I, that was probably the thing. That could have happened to me with with that and, and with my basketball career, and, and it helped me go on to this day. And I really. We'll, we'll finish <laughs> off um, with, with again, kind of what it meant for you. I mean, you had been there for fourteen yeah, I mean, years. Uh, obviously, it catapulted you to to Ole Miss in the SEC. But just kind of looking back, what this meant for you, what this meant for uh, Middle Tennessee. Yeah, you know, uh, Jeff grew up in a basketball family, and 
you know, I, I took a lot of pride in, and I never thought I was going to leave middle Tennessee. I, I'm serious. And, and I felt so good for our players, but I felt so good for our fans and felt so good for our, for middle Tennessee, that it put us on the national stage, even as an institution, you know? And so that I, I never, I, I, after the game, talked to our team and I went in the shower just, just there, not took a shower, just kind of stood in there for about three or four minutes by myself and just kind of gathered thoughts and kind of reflected a little bit. And, uh, and it, it was really cool, you know, but I, the main thing was just for guys like Giddy and, and, and the fans. And, and I knew what was coming from a media standpoint, you know, from, from, from our university. And so that, that, that was probably the, the greatest part for us. Was there some, Post game memory that you'll always, you know, somebody calling you, somebody con congratulating you, just something that you'll always remember that was almost like surreal. Yeah, you know, my dad couldn't come. He had gotten the flu. And so, you know, being a coach, you know, he's one of the first guys that I talked to and just how proud that that he was and excited. And I tell you what, I remember more than anything, this is crazy. I, my sister, Jennifer, we walk into the, to the hotel afterwards. And I think, Jeff, she'd already had a drink by that time, all right? She'd had a cocktail, and she looked at me. She goes, what in the hell just happened? You know, and I never forget that statement, <laughs> you know. And so it was kind of just, uh, you know, just the elation of our family and getting a chance to be with them for a few minutes before we went on to Syracuse. Well, listen, I appreciate both of you, uh, you joining me. Uh, 2016 kind of Cinderella uh, story, certainly Middle Tennessee State, one that we'll never forget, Kermit Davis. Uh, Giddy Potts, thanks uh, for joining us. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. Thank you. you.